Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is iOS. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in technology and you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, iOS application development is the process of making mobile applications for Apple hardware including iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. The software is written in the Swift programming language or Objective-C and then deployed to the App Store for users to download. If you are a mobile app developer, you may have had reservations about iOS development. For example, each developer needs a Mac computer and Mac are generally more expensive than their Windows based counterparts. In addition, once you complete your app, it faces a stringent quality review process before it can be distri distributed through the App Store. Nevertheless, if your organization's employees, customers or partners are among the hundreds of millions of Apple iPhone and iPad users around the world, you have obvious reasons to engage in iOS app development and despite potentially high barriers to entry, developing an iOS app can be as easy as, uh, uh, as developing for Android. With proper planning and the right resources, you can join the ranks of iOS app developers. So before you write a single line of code in the iOS app development process, you need an app Mac computer running the latest version of Mac OS. Xcode, which is the Integrated Development Environment IDE for Mac OS, available as a free download from the Mac App Store, an active Apple development, uh, developer account, which requires a $99 annual fee. These three requirements work together. Only active members of the Apple Developer Program can post an app to the Apple Store. Only apps signed and published by Xcode are eligible for submission to the App Store, Xcode runs only on Mac OS and Mac OS runs only on Apple computers. The good news is that Xcode offers much more than just the ability to sign and publish your completed app. The IDE contains a user interface designer, code editor, testing engine, asset catalog and more virtually everything you need for iOS app development. There are currently, currently two programming languages for iOS app development, Objective-C. Developed in the early 1980s, Objective-C was the primary programming language for all Apple products for decades derived from the C language. Objective-C is an object-oriented programming language centered on passing messages to different processes as opposed to invoking a process in traditional C programming. Many developers choose to maintain their legacy applications written in Objective-C instead of integrating them into the Swift framework which was introduced in 2014. Swift The Swift programming language is the new official language of iOS. While it has many similarities to Objective-C, Swift is designed to use a simpler syntax and is more focused on security than its predecessor. Because it shares a runtime with Objective-C, you can easily incorporate legacy code into updated apps. Swift is easy to learn even for people just beginning to program. Because Swift is faster, more secure and easier to use than Objective-C, you should plan to use it to develop your iOS app unless you have a compelling reason to stick with Objective-C. One of the major advantages of iOS app development is the extensive collection of developer resources available to you. Because of the standardization, functionality and consistency of iOS app development, Apple is able to release native APIs and libraries as kits that are stable, feature-rich and easy to use. 
you can use these iOS SDKs to seamlessly integrate your app into Apple's existing infrastructure. For example, if you are working on an app controller for a smart toaster oven, you can use HomeKit to standardize the communication between the toaster and the phone. Users will be able to coordinate communication between their smart toaster or oven and their smart coffee maker. These extensive kits allow you to take advantage of the features built into the iOS and integrate third-party apps with ease, creating apps that connect to the social media, use the camera of native calendar app, or automatically record, relay, replay videos of an especially thrilling gameplay moments. iPhone are powerful devices, but to handle resource-intensive tasks, consider offloading the heavy lifting to the uh, cloud this is very important at here <laughs> by connecting your app to cloud based services through APIs you can use the cloud for storage database management and even app coaching you can also augment your app with innovative text generation services actually even the best developer don't write perfect code at least not the first time around once you are completed your iOS app development, you will need to test it. Fortunately, you will need not need to test mobile devices from multiple manufacturers as you might when uh, developing for Android. iOS is Apple's proprietary, proprietary mobile operating system which runs only on Apple iPhones. Although you might want to test your iOS app on several generations of iPhone, there are still fewer devices to test than with Android. Your first line of testing is in Xcode itself. In addition to the standard unit test you are used to Xcode features automated UI testing, you can write tests that navigate through your UI interacting with your app like a user would to locate any issues. However, unless your tests account for any every possible interaction a user could have with your app, you will still want to let human beta Humans beta test your software while you can uh, sideload apps to iOS devices without submitting them to the App Store. Apple makes it easy for friends, family or your user base to preview your app with its test flight app. Once Apple approves your app under its Apple Store review guideline, you can invite up to 10,000 users to download a test version. These users download the test flight app and use a unique link to access your app. You can divide uh, your uh, external testers into custom uh, groups and push specific builds to each group, allowing you to perform A or B tests and compare responses to features. Once you are done with iOS app development and testing, you will need to submit your app to the App Store. You can submit and sign your app directly through the Xcode. Be patient, the app review process can be lengthy, frequently requiring multiple iterations of rejection, revision, resubmission, rejection until you get your final approval. Once you have passed all approvals, you can build your App Store page by using a program called App Store Connect and push your app to the App Store. If you are planning on uh, selling the app, remember that Apple takes a 38% cut of your sale in addition to the $99 annual fee they charge to participate in the developer program. So uh, friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with the friends and colleagues and uh, thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.